This is an overview of the many features of the rehab station, probably one of the most versatile pieces of the rehab equipment that you can purchase. Um, so first of all, this is a portable unit, so it can be moved, uh, taken into rooms, taken down hallways. Um, if you would like to lock it in place, there is a stabilizing feature. So if I turn this around, let me take a look at the back side. You still find a lever that can be pulled out. You extend this and then you place the stabilizing bars down and lock it into place. So we'll go ahead and do that. Also, while I'm back here, um, there is a drawer that has uh, uh, room for any of the accessories, such as the uh, pulley unit for upper extremity range of motion, um, handles, uh, any kind of accessories that we need for the unit. Handles back here that can also be used for steering and guiding the unit. We also have back here a storage area that includes a table, which we'll show you in a few moments, and a bar here that's used for some of the resistance exercises. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this around, and we'll go ahead and lock this down. And on the front of the unit here, we have a couple of different features. Um, First of all, we do have a knee um, pad that can be placed. This is an accessory unit. This does not come with a basic model, but this is a standing frame portion that can be added uh, in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And, and also in the front of the unit here, we have a chest or back pad that can be raised and lowered. In addition, we have bars that the patient can hold on to for stability. These lock in place and they can be unlocked by just simply pulling out on the whole tab there. So um, we want to raise this up higher here and then we can pull out a stair that has a little plastic release lever and can be lowered into place. This step is also adjustable in height so from anywhere from four to eight inches in different two inch increments. The table or bench can be added to the front of the unit by simply placing it under the tabs here and putting it in place so it can be uh, for a standing table. Um, can be lowered. Wheelchair can be pulled up underneath the unit so that can be done in a sitting position. Slide back in. Some other features. Get these out of our way. Uh, we have some upper extremity activity poles. So these poles can come up into place and can be used for numerous activities, sitting or standing. And they have a resistance knob, so the amount of resistance these provide can be adjusted for the patient. And then we also do have, you'll see on the side here, is our many attachments for resistance cords, which we'll cover in another video showing you the many different features and how these resistance cords can be used and attached to numerous areas. You also see the overhead support structure that is used for attaching both the resistance cords and the safety harness for doing aggressive balance activities. The uh, upper support arms here can be raised and lowered by pulling a lever here on the side raising those up about four to six inches. This allows for a different height for patients, but also allows you to lower it to get through uh, doorways that are um, uh, not so high. 